Class is now in session. I am Professor Hockey, and today we'll be discussing some huge news coming from the San Jose Sharks as Tomas Hurdle, a player who I predicted to maybe be out a game or two after sustaining whatever injury there against the Canucks just the other night, ends up being out for the entire year with an, some sort of ACL MCL issue. And so a lot more severe than I thought it would be. And so before we go any further, let us just take a moment of silence for this now probably all but finished San Jose Sharks season. So now the Sharks right now are running with uh, seemingly Joe Thornton as their number one center. Hurdle will not be back for the rest of the year. As I said, Logan Couture is still out a few weeks. So his return is uh, going to come probably around mid to late February, if I had to guess. And by then, that's when the trade deadline comes up for the Sharks. They needed to have a really torrid pace here in these 12 games post-holiday break. Now the next 10 games, they've already gone 1-1, one and one, which isn't a great start. And with Thornton as their number one center, and then having, what, Gambrell, maybe Goodrow will get the center spot back, and then, like, Shellman. It's not the greatest center depth. It probably is the worst of the league, thanks to these couple of injuries, and so... It's not going to go all so well for the Sharks. Unfortunately, they still do not have a first-round pick, but this definitely makes it very interesting to track what might happen at the deadline. Brendan Dillon is now, I would say, inevitably going to be traded. Malker Carlson potentially also inevitably going to be traded. Aaron Dell, if he gets a few more starts and actually continues to look solid, he might be able to get a you know, a decent haul, nothing great, but a couple of assets. And we'll see if the Sharks actually try and make a move for a first round pick. I know Doug Wilson really wants to have a first round pick in this coming up draft. This draft is supposedly supposed to be quite deep. And so even getting in the 20s type of first round pick from a playoff team should actually still end up being rather good. And so maybe a package deal with Dylan and a smaller asset could potentially net the Sharks a first round pick. And that's really the only thing left here for Sharks fans to actually look forward to this season considering they don't have their own first, and it seems as though the season is all but dead to rights. Class dismissed.